everybody welcome back to life with diddy and today's video is actually all about rizza say hi are you being camera shy um i'm actually a little nervous about doing today's video because um she actually ate on wednesday uh we fed her two pinky mice because we've been upgrading her mic size because she was getting bigger and I don't know if she pooped or not and that actually makes me nervous to be holding her right now because if she poops I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> they say it's two types of snake owners in the world one that has been pooped on and one that has not been pooped on yet and I'm the one that has not been pooped on yet so I'm nervous about it right now um but let's get started so last weekend, I noticed that she was actually um, going into the blue, the blue, uh, which is when you see your snake, usually, I can only speak on corn snakes, but when you see your corn snake's eyes turn blue, like a foggy blue color, um, and then about maybe three days later, it goes back from being that foggy blue color to normal black. And then shortly after that, you see them start shedding. So she actually shed last week. She was done shedding by, um, I wanna say by Monday. And Wednesday is her feed day. So I fed her on Wednesday, but I bumped up her feeding size from one pinky to two pinkies because she is getting bigger. I don't know if you guys can tell, but she's definitely grown um since we first introduced her on the channel okay and after she shed the very first time with us this is now the second time that she shared with us after she shared the first time with us i realized that i had a problem with my terrarium which was that the humidity was very low to the point where she had an improper shed so she didn't shed her skin completely. I had to find out ways through the internet and some of you great YouTube um, pet snake owners uh, what to do. Cause I was just like, I don't know what to do. So I found out a really good uh, trick and some great advice. And I used both of those things to come up with what I did. So one of the very first things that I found out on the internet that I needed to do was actually make her a humidity box, which is this, what I did. As you can see, it has holes in it. I actually used a wine opener uh, to create these holes, which you guys can do if you need. And obviously it's just a tupperware container and this is actually what i do with this so normally what i do is i take the tupperware container and i make sure that it's clean even if i only i mean obviously i only use this for the snake but even if i only use it for the snake i still make sure that it's clean um, every time that i use it so i make sure that this is nice and clean I have paper towels or napkins and usually I uh, wet these with warm water and then insert them into here where it's like folded and then I take the lid which this lid actually has a little seal on top for an extra hole she's not big enough I mean small enough to fit through there so that's okay and then what I do is I snap I snap it here and I snap it on the side that way it's still just lifted here if she needs to get in or out and it also keeps the moisture inside of uh, so once it's snapped together as you can see the lid is on but it's snapped down um, it's still room for her to be able to fit out when she wants to get out of the humidity box but for the most part, I put her inside of the box myself and I also take her outside of the box myself. Um, I usually leave her in there anywhere from uh, 30 minutes to an hour. Um, sometimes I see that she's okay with staying in there so I might leave her in there for a little bit longer, but I usually take her out um, and put her in on my own. She doesn't usually get in here on her own. 
So I did notice that after um, making the humidity box the first time that it helped with the shed that was still stuck to her, which is known as stuck shed, coincidentally. It helped with the shed that was still stuck to her. However, I wanted to give it a try a second time, knowing that the humidity inside the terrarium still had not changed because the environment that the terrarium is in, which is in my house, had not changed, nothing had changed. So I went ahead, I put her inside the humidity box a second time and she had a nearly perfect shed, but I still had a problem. What I noticed was at the tip of her tail, right here, it was having the hardest time with getting the shed off. So what I did was I took a napkin and I took some water, make sure that the napkin was damp and I just held her like this and let her glide herself through the napkin um, on her own. And this actually helped with removing the rest of the stuck shit. You guys can't see my mouth. Ooh, oh, I thought she pooped. This helped remove the rest of the stuck shed from her tail and I had no problem. So until I can figure out how to uh, get the humidity inside the vivarium right, this is what I'm gonna do. What I'm thinking about doing is changing her bedding from aspen bedding to a little bit of cocoa fiber uh, and aspen mix. That way the humidity is a little bit higher than what it is right now. I don't know if it's because I live in Southern California and it's always hot here or what the reason is, but I know that the cocoa fiber uh, helps keep moisture. So maybe if I add a little bit into the um, terrarium, that will help her with having a proper shed because I do want her to be comfortable and have a perfect shed because she is shedding her skin because she's growing and that has to be very uncomfortable for you to be too big for your own body in a sense and can't get your old body off oh she just <laughs> you can't get your old body off of you so we'll figure it out together but so before she causes any more problems for me falling and stuff uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it was super quick. Let me know what you think about this intro for RZA in the beginning of the video uh, down in the comment section below. Let me know if you guys have any tips or tricks what you do with your corn snakes. If you just like snakes, if you don't like snakes, let me know if you want to see more videos of Diddy. Until next time, peace. I'm out.